10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, a quick tutorial about uh, decaling your rocket. This rocket here, I've got uh, everything painted that I wanted to paint. The fluorescent nose and then the gray body. And now what I've done here is I've also done a clear coat on it using this uh, spray mister super clear. Now the reason I do that is to give this a good surface for the uh, to seal in the paint and the decals to rest on. Decals don't like to adhere to flat paint because it's too rigid and you'll get silvering marks under your decal. Looks kind of crummy so you want it as smooth as possible. Now what I can also do is I can swipe it down with uh, a little bit of uh, uh, steel wool to get this to be even smoother yet and then that'll make a really really nice surface to uh, put the decals on. Okay so now I've got my 4 out steel wool and I'm just going to since this is going to be there I'm going to decal I'm just going to lightly rub it not so it's actually uh, scratching the paint too much because we will clear coat this again it'll actually dull it down a little bit but it's going to make this surface super super smooth and that way the decals will work the best so I'll work this all over the rocket with that steel wool and then we'll be ready to go okay so now I'm ready to cut out some decals got my bowl of warm water here not really hot not really cold but warm and I'm just going to cut now this these decals in the Estes kits are water slide decals but they're all one sheet so you have to cut them out closely to uh, what you want it's not like some of the model decals where they actually the film only goes as far as the colors but it's not difficult because these are usually pretty square so what I'm going to do is cut this one down to size Maybe leaving just a little bit of an edge since it'll be clear. And I shouldn't see that once I put a clear coat on the top. It's just if you get too close, you can cut the decal and then it's going to be not straight. You can also uh, put these on something flat and use an X-Acto to get a super straight line if you want. It depends on how steady of a hand you have. Okay, clip off the ends. And we're ready to go. So now we're going to make sure we get the decals away from the water. Put it in the water. It'll, it'll shrink up, it'll twist up. So let it sit in there until it starts to relax. Should be about 15-20 uh, seconds. And then what I want to do is I want to put it on a piece of paper towel to blot off some of the extra water. And we'll let it sit there till it softens. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to grab me a brush that I can actually use to place my decal. And the best results for decaling is that uh, is to actually let gravity do the work. So what we're going to do is we would decal this area here first and then let that actually sit and dry overnight so the gravity brings it down until it's fully dried. Then we'll move it to the other side and do the other ones. If we do them all at once and then roll it over, the ones on the bottom tend to sag and you'll get that silvering again. So, Okay, so now that this one is should be ready to, to go, All we're going to do is put just a little bit of water on the area that I want it to go. It'll beat up and might give you a little trouble, but then we're going to, okay, now the decal is moving smoothly. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure we check our reference on the package or whatever you want to use as your painting and decaling reference. So it's got about the same width of gray between it and the white. So 
and we'll set the decal on there. And what I can do is I can use a little water and make sure I get everything straight, push it around. You got a little time to work with this decal. So we'll go all the way around with this one, which there's, there's no choice in this one. I have to go all the way around. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just prod it again with a brush. Trying to get it where I want it. It's going to move around quite a bit. But you do have a little bit of time to work with it. Especially since it's on a glossy surface. Okay. Not too bad. Move it a little this way and move it a little that way. Okay. And then where the ends meet, we definitely want to get that straight. This is a little, little more difficult because they do like to stretch and they don't seem to like to line up quite right. So now I can also use my uh, X-Acto knife or a toothpick or something to, to try to help to straighten them out. Okay. Now once I got the decal where I want it, I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to blot the excess water out. And this will seal it to the rocket itself. And then we'll just let it dry. We'll sit it where we want it and let it dry. And move on to the next decal. Now I also like on some of these big decals, once you lay them down, you can actually use a Q-tip and actually rolling and pushing, you can get all, all those air bubbles and all those um, little creases. If you don't want to move the decal, don't wipe it like that. Roll your cotton swab and that'll do it. And that'll pick up some of the excess water too and that take it exactly like you want it. You can also sight down it to make sure everything is straight the way you want it. You don't have to use any decal set on these since there's no real bumps it's going over, so don't have to worry about that. Here's another little rocket project I've got all painted up and decaled, ready for its final clear coat. I'm going to paint that tail cone silver when I get a chance. Some a little fun, I used some stickers on the fins and then the decals that came with the kit on it as well. This is the Estes ESAM 58 which is a special edition, only sold at Hobby Lobby. Very nice. It's actually the top part of the uh, Sasha, is what this is, without the little strakes and the little spikes on it. But anyways, that's one more ready to go to the launch pad. Thanks for watching.